Have you ever heard of seaweed farming? Some of you may have heard of before and others something totally new. Regardless, farming seaweed at a large rate could both help clean our ocean as well as boost the global economy. Researchers have found that seaweed produces a great, sustainable, renewable energy that is much more environmentally friendly in comparison to other biofuels. To find out why, stay tuned. Why should floating offshore farms increase their production of seaweed? Well, in the coming decade or so, you'll most likely hear it a lot more. Farming seaweed has endless benefits for both our ocean climate and for our economy. The Pacific Ocean may one day be home to kilometers of seaweed farms managed by undersea drones and ready to be converted into fuel. Marine Bioenergy, a startup supported by the Advanced Research Projects Agency Energy, has this ambition. The company, as well as a few related ventures, is being funded by a U.S. government agency that sees the open ocean as a largely unexplored research for a new and potentially better source of renewable bioenergy. Biomass, such as corn and wood, presently accounts for around 5% of total U.S. energy consumption. Biomass is renewable and absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis as it grows. Many experts believe that this ratio will continue to rise owing to bioenergy's versatility. It can, for example, supply fuel to aeroplanes and other non-electric modes of transportation. According to Mark von Keitz, a program director at ARPAE, several analysis suggest that bioenergy will need to make up 20 to 25 percent of the country's energy sources to achieve considerable decarbonization of the U.S. economy. Corn-based biofuel is the most common bioenergy alternative in the United States. However, producing it requires a significant amount of land, fertilizer, and fresh water, all of which contribute to pollution and tie up precious resources. This is where seaweed can help. It doesn't require any of those resources and can take use of the open ocean's immense potential. Seaweed, also known as macroalgae, can be harvested and converted into a variety of energy sources, including biogas and ethanol, using a variety of chemical processes. However, several obstacles must be solved before bioenergy from seaweed becomes a viable option on a wide scale. And not everyone thinks it's a good idea due to safety concerns. What do we know currently about farming the ocean? Seaweed has been cultivated for a long time in numerous nations, mainly in Asia, but on a modest scale and largely for food. Researchers and corporations require cost-effective strategies to turn seaweed into useful fuel for commercial usage if bioenergy derived from microalgae is to become mainstream. They'll also need to develop the technology and procedures necessary to cultivate macroalgae on a large scale far out in the ocean where harsh circumstances like storm-driven waves can occur. Because of their remote settings, these farms will most likely need to run autonomously or with a little human presence to be effective. Marine Bioenergy is working on one of ARPA's projects, which intends to develop large seaweed farms in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The research will try to solve a major flaw in the microalgae farming concept. Top layer of the open ocean receives a lot of sunlight, but few nutrients, whereas the deep levels receive plenty of nutrients but little sunlight. Most seaweeds will not grow so far out on their own because of this arrangement. Marine Bioenergy believes it's found a solution. It'll try growing seaweed on submarine drone farms. Each farm would be a few hectares in size with rows and rows of seaweed interspersed with floats. Drones would submerge the farms at night to gain access to nutrients as well as during storms and when ships went by. These drones would transport the entire farm to a harvesting area every several months. Solar panels would be used to power the drones themselves. Many people are confident that these farms will be able to produce a significant amount of sustainable energy. So what are some more benefits of farming seaweed? There's a few. What are the negative impacts of seaweed farming? Let's dive into these. Other benefits of farming seaweed. The expansion of the seaweed aquaculture business is beneficial to both the economy and the environment. Growing seaweed is an environmentally favorable practice. Apart from planting the seeds and ensuring that the seaweed is kept in a clean environment, seaweed rarely requires any more care or feeding. The plants will be able to grow on their own. Seaweed farms also provide a safe and healthy environment for young fish and crustaceans.
locations, which can be harvested economically or used to boost wild population levels. The mere presence of seaweed farms in particular regions prevents deep sea bottom trawling and protects the sea floor. Seaweed farms in the open ocean can even enhance water quality. Many of the current threats to the ocean, particularly ocean acidification, can be alleviated by boosting seaweed production. According to the World Bank, establishing a global seaweed production of 500 million tons by 2050 will absorb 10 million tons of nitrogen, or 30% of the nitrogen expected to enter the ocean, and 15 million tons of phosphorus, or 33% of the total phosphorus produced through fertilizers. Seaweed can also help to buffer rising carbon dioxide levels, which are the major cause of ocean acidification. Seaweed is fantastic of absorbing and storing carbon dioxide. Kelp takes in five times more carbon than most land plants. The same 500 million tons of seaweed would burn 135 million tons of carbon, accounting for 3.2% of the carbon added to seawater each year as a result of greenhouse gas emissions. Sustainable and easy source of food. Although seaweed production is increasing around the world, North Americans have yet to accept it as a cuisine. That's really bad because it's remarkably effective in combating water pollution and overfishing. Plant meals are significantly more efficient to manufacture than animal foods, which is one of the key advantages of vegetarianism from an ecological standpoint. They use fewer toxic pesticides and fertilizers, and they take up less space. However, conveniently farmed plant meals can have a significant environmental impact. Consider a food that could be cultivated without the use of pesticides, plant food, or fertilizers, and without the use of any land. Seaweed is that food, and it's going to have a big impact on the future of environmentally friendly food production. Aquaculture is the world's fastest growing food producing activity. Seaweed production was roughly 16 million metric tons in 2008, worth around $7.5 billion. A limited amount of this seaweed is used in cosmetics and as a gelling agent, but seaweed is mostly used as a food source in East Asia, where the majority of the production takes place. Seaweed is high in protein, iron, vitamins A, B, and C, as well as a number of beneficial compounds. Seaweed is deceptively simple to grow. There's a suitable kind that will naturally grow in every temperature and depth of water. Seaweed farms, like clam farms, use strong strands of rope floating in the water. The lines are seeded with the right sort of seaweed and sunk in ocean sea areas and left to their own devices. At harvest time, all that's required is either chopping off the seaweed at the appropriate length, enabling it to regrow for future harvest, or completely pulling up the lines and replanting from scratch. Some California seaweed species are so plentiful that they might be harvested five or six times per year. What are the negative impacts of seaweed farming? Even though the demand of seaweed farming is increasing and the positive impact it could have in the future in regards to the bioenergy we could get from the seaweed would be life-changing, creating a much more sustainable source of energy compared to what we have today. On the other hand, many have argued that seaweed farming at such a high rate could have a handful of consequences, all of which impact our ocean life. Many are skeptical of macroalgae bioenergy, pointing out that vast seaweed farms could have unintended consequences for marine ecosystems, disrupting natural or human food chains on land or water will have huge ripple consequences, says John DeCiccio, a biofuels and other energy concerns researcher at the University of Michigan Energy Institute. Some farms, for example, use lines made of glass fiber, which do not bend in a way that causes animals to become entangled. As you can undoubtedly guess, this will cause major problems for our sea life and will only add to the current rate of seal extinction. Is it really a smart idea to add another source of possible pollution to the ocean when we already pollute it so heavily? Others claim that if we could rely on seaweed farming, we would have significantly less pollution and that a big mass of seaweed in one place really helps clean the ocean. The potential climatic advantages of bioenergy are also up for debate, and calculating them for seaweed may be tricky. But to argue this, seaweed typically has emissions reductions that are comparable to or better than those of land-based biofuels, implying a carbon footprint that is less than half that of gasoline. The theory behind this approach is that when seaweed is burned, the carbon released is just carbon that the macroalgae had collected during its growth a few months before. As with fossil fuels, no additional carbon would be released into the atmosphere, yet the manufacturing and conversion of seaweed into bioenergy would still require energy. So, all in all, although there are 
are some consequences, the benefits significantly outweigh them. And there you have it, everything you need to know surrounding seaweed farms and why floating offshore farms should increase their production. Seaweed is definitely something that could make our future as a society much more sustainable and bright. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Have you heard of seaweed farming before? Do you think this needs to be implemented more frequently throughout our ocean? Thanks for watching.